All right, guys, here you go. Almost one month later, and the IX is returning home to Pittsburgh. Well, since it's been here at the beach, it's been okay to live with. I've used the level one charger that came with the i8 right here in the corner, and I was good for topping it off, only topping it off. So we did need to seek out other chargers here. We found free level twos and then even a fast charger once we learned how to use it. So, and that's what I mean. You know, we've had it a month now and we love it. It's beautiful, it's fun, the acceleration. It's a really nice car. And we don't dislike electric cars. I don't quite think we're electric car people. Now, that may change for me if there was a, a super or a hyper car out there that was all electric. It's very specialty. I don't think I have a problem with that. As far as an everyday vehicle, well, I'm gonna wait until I get this back to Bobby Ray Hall, BMW in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, and then I'll give you my final answer. So let's go, we're getting on the road right now. It's all cleaned up on the inside and uh, we're headed for a six hour road trip. Let's see, uh, it's about four o'clock now, a little after five, we should be getting there at 10, 11. Realistically though, let's see what time we get there. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate you. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Can't wait for the comments, peace. Uh, it's all clean ready for my road trip. It is very cold. Um, now, I've been back and forth for getting stuff, and I started with like 340 miles of range. So, I'm already down a good bit. And I haven't left the house yet. And it's pretty cold. And it's nighttime. <laughs> but, my navigation screen works. Amen. And um, I'm prepared. I got my, I got all my stuff. I got a neck pillow, blanket. I'm ready to go, guys. I'm ready to go. I'm prepared. <sighs> Pray for me. All right, guys. So I'm happy to report we have found some sort of civilization. Uh, I've used the Charge Point app, and it's brought me to Wally -E World. <laughs> oh. So this is different. This is different. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. All right. So this definitely looks promising. Okay. Electrify America. All right. That's cool. Let's see here. What we got going on? Close. Charger unavailable. Charger unavailable. Uh. All right, well, I hope that charger is available. Let's see. All right, let's see. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. So how nice and convenient and modern this looked? Not really. So those two are down. I wasn't able to get into that spot, so someone else pulled into the spot. I can't tell if it's, there's a line. There's no clear communication. There's more electric cars pulling up. So, how long does this go on? Um, you can't really sit behind somebody. So if somebody finishes, you know, um, you know, it's nice that I'm at a Walmart, I can use the bathroom and get some food. So like this guy, this guy doesn't know that the charger is unavailable. He's about to find out though, you know. Uh, there's an available charger right here but it won't stretch to my vehicle. So that's not gonna work. Well, let's give it a try. So this guy's parked next to me and he's able to stretch to the front of his car. Mine's in the rear, right? Just, just to try. Nope, no chance. So this is, this is how close I am to getting, to getting juice, but it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So what do you do?
Is it working for you? No, it's, it's a old, uh, old uh, pool. Wow. In the one app, yeah, so I'm gonna charge it. Wow. So the amp the ampage is full. So the max output that it could it could push out to charge vehicles right now is full. So even though that gentleman was just out of spot, he was just out of charger, he was unable to charge his vehicle and has to leave. So I guess I'm just gonna be here at Wally World for a while or do I dare go somewhere else? Alright. So, we are at a different Walmart, but more Electrify America chargers. And there's a bunch of stuff around here. I don't know what to expect. You see what we got going on. This might have been my friend from another station. No. Plug in first. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Uh. All right, plugged in. All right, well, let's see. We can do this here. I think I got it working, guys. I think I got it working. Yes. Flashing blue is a very good sign. I think we're getting juice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're getting juice. I think we're charging guys. I think we're charging. I think. Alright guys, so we're doing pretty good. We got some McDonald's. The food was you know, it was good. It was good. So right now we've spent $31. We're at 90% and we've been here for 48 minutes. It's about as long as I wanted to be here. Just let me get it off. Uh, please unplug charging has stopped please move your vehicle grace period 10 minutes uh, cool thank you driver blah, blah blah 48 minutes get receipt cool what how do we get receipt oh snap okay all right so i just got back in the car i have 270 oh <laughs> four miles of range <laughs> that's 90 percent and i have 233 miles to my destination so i should be fine right all right guys i've been driving up this massive mountain for a while uh and i had a good ratio going for a minute so i have 123 miles on my journey i have 117 miles of battery so, it just flipped. Ah, oh, it just flipped. So I will need to charge one more time to get home. Yay. All right, so I don't know how long it'll last. I was going downhill and I evened out. 119, 119. So, we might have a fighting chance, but I had a good margin for a while, and then it just being 30-something degrees, uphill, uh oh I have another hill, no, uh, oh, I alright, I'm above an electricity, 120, nice. So I'm back in Breezewood at the Travel Authority. 
big central hub. I just got my coffee from Sheets. And I don't want to waste too much time, but I just wanted to see these Rivian chargers. Is it like still Rivian only? Because here's the thing, like, that's cool Rivian, but there's not enough Rivians out there. Use with Rivian vehicles still. Boo. Yeah, not today. All right, let's get out of here before we waste any more miles. I've already lost one. Gotta go. We'll see. And we'll see. Stopped at a service plaza just to check, just to see if there was any chargers around. Oh, I wish. Oh, I wish. Hmm. All right, so even though I'm close, my ratio, mm, not good. I just did some intense mountains and kind of flipped me upside down. So now it's time to do nothing else but look for the closest charger. So I'm not at 20%, I'm at 26. Uh, but 63 miles. At 30 degrees with more uphill to go, it's time to start looking for a charger. That is not going to help me. Oh, okay. So, it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. I really don't know what to do. <clears throat> what? I'm not scared. You're scared. Uh, oh, okay. Uphill. Right. So, that is not the original destination, guys. Uh, that is... <laughs> That's a safety destination. So this is like my old neighborhood, uh, well, where Alicia Rosebud is from. And I know that there's a fast charger there, just hopefully is it working. I might have enough juice to get me home, but I don't have a solution after that. So if I do find this fast charger and it's working, oh yeah, you see that? Yeah. I'm not scared. You're scared. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, no, no, no. Guys, are you seeing this? This is not a game. This is not a joke. This has to work. So where I am, I am in a familiar area. I am not home. I'm not in Pittsburgh. I'm in Greensburg. Uh, I used to live out here, have businesses here. I'm very familiar with where I am. But at the end of the day, I am not home. And it's one in the morning. So, I'm praying, I'm praying to God, please, Lord Jesus, please let this charger work. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I feel so blessed right now. So blessed. Even though it's like 2 in the morning. And if I hadn't had a gas car, I'd have been home at 10. Um, I still feel so blessed. 
Thank you, Jesus. And that I'm at a level three. safe. I made it safe to Pittsburgh. I made it safe to Bobby Ray Hall BMW. And look guys. Oh, cancel. <laughs> okay. Well, and we still, for the time being, have the IX. I got my mama with me. <laughs> Alright, so just to take a moment to kind of recap before I go in here. The I-8 was broken. The I-8 needed fixed. That I got fixed, and the bill was six thousand seven hundred dollars. Um, the I eight broke last year, and the bill was five thousand um, dollars. The I eight's not under warranty and will never be under warranty again. So it just wasn't worth it for me to try to pay the six thousand seven hundred dollar bill and then risk it if something would happen again. Um, it didn't make sense. I'm really enjoying the M four. And it didn't make sense to have two sports cars at this time. Um, you know, I have a bunch of kids and it's really important for me to do some other stuff. Plus, I need a vehicle for utility from time to time. And when Alicia Rosebud's van broke the same time as the i8, it was just... And it did that last year too. It just left us kind of not properly balanced and still paying a note on three vehicles. So I've been in this IX now for a month, a month. Um, it, and it really couldn't have happened any faster. So just drove down to Pittsburgh. I barely made it without running out of uh, electricity. I'll give you my thoughts and feelings on this car and electric cars another time. But it's time to bring this car back. So I just wanted to pause real quick and just kind of touch base. So what I ended up doing is um, buying a new vehicle from Bobby Ray Hall here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, well, I'm just gonna pause there and I'll let you see after this. Bye. Yeah, so this is cool. cool. Yeah, right? It's an X4. So all wheel drive. That's good. This I seven is nice. Ooh, my friend, my friend CJ, uh, with the Chrysler. He said he wanted an I seven. This is really nice. Here you go, CJ. Yeah, hey Jordan, how you doing, man? It's this one here. So, you guys, are you gonna be able to tell tell what it is? Maybe I'll leave this as the thumbnail. <laughs> wow, guys. So, this is it. This is really happening. Uh, I am giving up, getting rid of the i8, which it's all fixed right now. It's all fixed. And I'm going to miss it. And I'm trading it in for what's under that cloth right there. Uh, it's nice that my mom's here with me. Uh, my dad, my earthly dad, is still here with us in life. Uh, but he didn't come today. Uh, but he's at home. He'll, I'll be able to show it to him when I get there. And uh, I just, yeah, I'm, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm just kind of in shock a little bit. Um, Come on, take a look. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. It looks so good. It's such an awesome car. Such an awesome car. <sighs> it was a good run. It was a good run. I.
All right, let's see if my air tag is still in there. Yeah. That's actually an uh, air pump for your tires. Isn't that cool? Little hidden I-8 secret. So that's it. There you have it. I'm going to take a moment to talk to the car. And let's get ready for a reveal, guys. Go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is time for the big reveal. We have Jordan back there. Jordan, Jesse, you got to come see him at Bobby Ray Hall BMW in the South Hills. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the BMW X4M. Yay! That was a great reveal, Jordan. That was, that was a great reveal. Wow. Looks great, looks great. Beautiful. Let me grab a to be right back. Over. Awesome, thank you so much. Wow. So guys, this is what BMW calls their sports activity coupe. So. <laughs> now, this, uh, we have some some, not, not, don't know how I feel about the chrome, but we'll address that later. Looks good, looks good. Got the M brakes in there. Oh, got a little bit of the carbon fiber right here. Piano black around the console. Looking good, looking good. Pretty much the same layout as the other one. How's that leather looking? A little thirsty, a little thirsty. Might have to do some conditioning in there. Oh, got the all weather floor mats. You can leave that open. Oh, they, look, look mom, I got that from you. What? They loaded it up with a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want a t-shirt. Nice. Nice. Check that out, guys. They loaded it up with a t-shirt. Let's see what else they gave. I got here. Hat. Socks. Look at this. This is amazing. Let's put that all in there together. Oh, cool. Wow, the original floor mats. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Divider. Oh, this is smooth. Capless or no? Nope. Nice. Nice rear climate. Looking good, looking good. Carbon. Pirelli's this time around. Yo, what's up everybody? Oh my gosh, I am loving, I'm loving the car. Uh, it feels like a new car, it takes some getting used to. Anyway, long story short, I'm here in Monroeville outside of uh, Total Off-Road and More. My buddy's the manager and this is his new M3. So I'm gonna try to see if I can mess with him and see if I can 
look like I'm, I'm messing with the car without him really catching on. Oh, I might not need to. Looks, look, looks like somebody else might do it for me. All right, so I got my hood up. I'm gonna pretend like I'm somebody else to see what he does. All right, check it, ready? Hey man, I think somebody's messing with your car out here. <laughs> What's up? I tried, I'm good, I'm good. Nah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Nah, it's gone. Come on, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna laugh. I like it. <laughs> Isn't that what you just had? Was this an X4M or an M40? This is the X4M. I had, I had the X4M. Yeah, yeah you just had this. Just had <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, I'm going to look for that clip of me right here with him. This is a different place. With that, it was white with red wheels, I think it was. Red and black. Then I went to the black. Crazy wheel. loud exhaust. All right, guys, so I'm back. The vlog isn't over yet. I am here in Monroeville, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm outside 4W Parts. So this is my friend Matt right here. Hey, how's it going? And Matt, can you can you just yeah, I'll give you here, let me, so you know you don't know the <laughs> But anyway man, I saw your car out here. It looks beautiful. I just wanted to say hi man. There's money for like five hundred. This was like done after. Did you even have your break in yet? No. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, hold on, give me a second. Using my mirror control. Are you loving it? Listen. See where my mirror, look where my mirror buttons are. Oh, I watch. did see you did that, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, in the first hundred miles of having it, <laughs> the first hundred miles of owning it, it was lowered, the exhaust was done, intakes were done, and the entire front end got the CS the CS converter. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, the whole the whole grill, that was like day one stuff. The whole grill was swapped out to that. Wow. Oh, and I got the uh sequential taillights in. Oh I saw that I saw. Those look yeah. great. Those look really good. Wow. Beautiful man, I'm glad I got to bump into you. Yeah, man. I got I, ju I just got this two hours ago. Ho oh, ho! Look where I'm at. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Can't wait, guys. I'm here at Blackout Tinning, my favorite place. You know, after I go and visit Bobby Ray Hall BMW, I'm here at one of the Blackout Tinning locations. Uh, I'm here with the X4M, and you know, I'm only here for a couple days, and this is the only place where I get my work done. So I gotta get it tinted. Um, I don't know how people do it without tint. If it's not the privacy issue, it's the, uh, you know, your car feels like it's gonna blow up. So you see me, I got my brand new shirt on. I'm super pumped about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be home, um, you know, so it's weird. I don't know which one I call home right now, but I'm back and forth fairly often. And that's nice. It's nice to see my family. That's it's nice to see my family. That's still here. It's also nice to be in ocean city, Maryland at the beach. I love it there. Hey guys, so if you're in the Pittsburgh area, go check out my friends Blackout Tinning. Uh, the shop I'm in right now is their North Pittsburgh or Gibsonia location, and you see the level of cars that they're capable to do, and regular cars also. Uh, whether you need window tint, ceramic coat, PPF, vinyl wrapping, um, anything like that, just give them a shout out. Their phone number is 724-939. 7094. All right, back to the vlog. Oh, I'm about to check it out. It's in front of me, but I'm not looking at it. We're going to look at it together. Ooh. It looks like an entirely different vehicle already. You guys are amazing. Look at. Woo Woo. Oh, it looks so good. 
Now, now it looks like a baby X6. <laughs> oh, nice. The surgeon. Wow. All right, guys, so it's all finished. Now, it's not totally clean. It's not clean. So don't judge me just yet. Still needs cleaned up. But it's looking good. Looking good. Wow. So guys, as always, if you're in the Pittsburgh area uh, and you need your car tinted, really they got to me in one day. They have multiple locations. There's the phone number. Give them a call. Thanks for watching my video, guys. God bless. Talk to you later.